When you think of marsupials, most people straight away think of large herbivores, things like wallabies and kangaroos, or maybe wombats and koalas. But there's a heap of carnivorous marsupials here in Australia, uh, things like quolls and Tasmanian devils. And one of the smallest ones is these guys here, the Dunnards. So stick around, guys. We're talking about a tiny Tasmanian devil. So there's many species of Dunnards found around the country, and these guys are some of the smallest Dazzyurids, which is the family that make up the quolls and the Tasmanian devils. So if you look inside this little fella's mouth, rather than having mouse-like teeth that you might expect, he's almost got dog-like teeth, little canines. He is a carnivore in his own right. But of all the species, this one here, the fat-tailed Dunnard, has probably the widest distribution. He's found over two-thirds of the country, mostly in arid and semi-arid environments, but found all the way down here into Western Victoria. Living in these areas, these guys are subjected to a really strong boom or bust cycle, like most of the species in Central Australia. And because of this, these guys live life in the fast lane. They only live for a couple of years, but when they reproduce, she can have up to eight babies at a time. Being a marsupial, these guys are born embryonic, they're little joeys. And in fact, all eight of these guys are born about the size of a grain of rice. These little grains of rice spend the next 60 days or so in mum's pouch before she leaves them in a nest to hunt by herself each night. And by five months of age, they're reproductive on their own. And mum can have two litters a year. Now, this lifestyle is hugely energetically expensive. And fat tailed Dunnarts can eat their own body weight and food each night. During times where it's cooler and drier, these guys save as much energy as possible by basically going into torpor, which is like a short-term hibernation. They can lower their body temperature as low as 15 degrees, and they'll huddle together with either other donuts or even introduce mice to maintain that temperature. But when they wake up, it would be hugely energetically expensive to, to heat their body of their own accord just by burning the little fat reserves they have left. So donuts will actually bask. They'll come out and they'll bathe in the sun to bring their body temperature back to normal again. Fortunately for the fat-tailed Dunnart, this guy's happy to live in fairly disturbed areas. They've actually expanded uh, as a result of clearing an agricultural land. As long as it's unimproved pasture without a heap of plowing, these guys seem to tolerate living in disturbed habitats. So because of this, the fat-tailed Dunnart's listed as pretty secure, but some of the other Dunnart's are in quite a bit of trouble. One that's in the media a little bit lately is the Kangaroo Island Dunnart. They were only found in a handful of locations on the western half of Kangaroo Island, which they were already in a lot of trouble. But recently, that whole distribution went up in flames. Fortunately, scientists have been in and they've clarified that they still exist out there, but they're now subjected to all kinds of issues like cats. Their hiding places have all disappeared, so we're fencing off their areas. If you want to know more about the Kangaroo Island Dunnart, there's plenty of information. Groups like uh, Australian Bush Heritage and things like this are doing great work for them. But... You know, unfortunately, these guys aren't six foot tall. They don't get the information or the, uh, the excitement about people that a koala or something might, or a kangaroo. But these guys need an awful lot of help. With all that in mind, guys, I hope that you've come to appreciate the fat-tailed Dunnart as much as you appreciate koalas and kangaroos and things like that. Because these guys are uniquely Australian. They're only found here in Papua New Guinea. They're closely related to the Tasmanian devil, just in miniature. Our little miniature Tasmanian devil mice. They're kind of amazing animals. And I hope you've enjoyed learning about them. But if you haven't already, if you want to learn more about our wildlife, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook where you'll see lots of posts about the animals we keep at home, where we visit animals that we get to look at. And if you want to help our channel grow and help us get out and visit more facilities and show you animals that I couldn't otherwise, support us on Patreon. It's uh, the support from our patrons that help us travel to other facilities. And during times like this when we can't take our animals out to shows, uh, they help keep the Things going back here at Wicked Wildlife HQ. Other than that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed learning about our fat tailed Dunnart, but I'll see you next week. Between now and then, be nice to wildlife. Have a good one and take care.